Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a little bit of troubleshooting on this to figure out why it's losing temperature. I just tried to print another 3D Benchy and I lost temperature as soon as the print started. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and unload the filament and then I'll start to go through the steps trying to figure out what's going on. I have a hunch I know what it is, but I won't know until I, sh until I actually get into it. So what I've done is I've turned on the machine, I've let it reach temperature. Uh, right now it's letting me reach temperature at the moment, so let's just go ahead and hit unload. And that spit the filament out a little bit, so let's go ahead and pull that out. There we go. I'll clip that off later. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and turn the machine off. And I'm going to let everything cool back down. Okay guys, so I've got everything cooled back down. And so let's go ahead and take a look to see what's going on here. Um, now this is the tool, uh, it turns out, that you use for disconnecting the hot end. So I'm going to go ahead and try disconnecting it now and see if there's any way that I can get it tightened up or, or what's going on. Um, at one point I thought it was supposed to have had a screw that held it, but it, it turns out it does have this, uh, it's like a little plastic nub that's right underneath here, that this little tool that came with it, fits on there just right and that allows you to pull that and then your hot end comes right out. Now let's take a look at this hot end real quick. Now what it is, it appears to be some kind of a ceramic or I'm not sure exactly sure what this what this housing is actually made out of. It might be a, a form of a high heat plastic and then it appears that the, hot, the nozzle itself is actually all part of this. To replace the nozzle appears you have to replace the entire hot end of it. And this hot end of course has four contacts right get where the lights just right right there and then up inside of here as you can see in this one let me go ahead and raise it up you can see the contacts up inside there that is what the hot end touches up against in order to keep connection. So, I noticed that whenever I got hold of it, I could wiggle it just a little bit. So, it didn't seem like it was seated quite properly. So, let's try to reseat it first before we do anything else to it. So, I'm just going to go ahead. Whoops. <laughs> let's go ahead and place that up inside here. Okay. And then let's take... I don't know if you can see that on that camera or not. We're going to slide that toward it and make sure it's pretty snug. Okay, it feels like it's it's nice and tight now compared to what it was. So let's go ahead and fire it up and see if it detects it. Okay, so it appears to have detected. Otherwise, there's a message that would pop up if uh, if it didn't. And actually, let's go ahead and just play. Why not, right? Let's just go ahead and just for giggles, let's go ahead and pull this nozzle out. Let's see what happens if we turn it on without it. Okay, so we have the giant arm screen that came up. Error. Nozzle zero temp. The heating element is out of order. So if you get that message, that means that it's not making contact. That's the same message I was getting whenever I um, was printing during the unboxing. That's the same exact message I got twice, which told me that something it was losing connection, which that was the exact message I got. So let's just go ahead. I went ahead and I turned the unit back off. Let's make sure that's nice and tight. Yep, it's not wiggling. Let's fire it up again. Okay, as you can see, we have our what looks like a gauges on a car. So that means we're all set. So we should be good to go on that. Now, I go ahead and turn this. So go ahead and yeah, I'll just turn that off for now. 
Now let's go ahead and re-level the print bed. Um, I feel really bad about the way I did it in the video and so I'm going to do try to do a better job of showing how to level this bed now that I've got everything kind of set up a little bit different I actually have my other cell phone here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and let me see if I can zoom in down here so you can see it better. Okay, I'm zoomed in as far as I can get right there. So let's just go right like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the gear. I'm going to go to leveling. While that's doing that, I'm going to reach over here and I'm going to grab my quick start guide. I'm going to just lay it right here in the middle and I'm going to hit number five. As you can see, there's all the different numbers here. We got a one, two, three, four, and a five. So I'm going to start with the fifth, the number five position first. Now let me go ahead and bring this back up here. This, that should work right there. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fire this one up from underneath. So hopefully you can see what I'm getting ready to do here. So right now I'm in the center of the print bed, number five position, and it's pretty tight right there. But if I go Z down one notch, that makes it pretty loose. But let's go ahead and just leave it loose for now, okay? We're not gonna worry about making that position real tight just yet. What we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to position one, that's going to change it over here. That's going to be controlled by that nut right there. Now that's really loose. Let's go ahead and do Z up. And that's pretty snug right there. Okay. But at the same time, it's, it's still got a little bit of drag. So it's going to go ahead and hit OK on that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that right there and I'm going to tighten it just a hair in order to loosen it. Oop, wrong way. Okay, that's too loose. That's a little bit better. Right there, I've got light drag on the paper. So I'm happy with that. So now, I already hit OK for that position, so now we're going to go position 2. It's going to bring us over here to this side. That one is really loose. So let's go ahead and go Z up. That's too tight. Let's go Z down. It's loose, but you know what? We can go ahead and adjust that with using that other piece. We're just going to go ahead and hit OK. And now, moving that camera over the camera over to that position, we're going to loosen it. And we're just going to do it just until there's a light drag on the card maybe just a hair tighter. So loosen it just a hair and that tightened it up just right. Let's go ahead and go to position three. That's pretty good right there but let's just go ahead and move this forward here so you can see where that one is. <laughs> if I only can see it as good as the camera down there can see it. There we go. It's on this front piece instead of being more toward the side pieces. We're just going to go ahead and tighten that one just a hair. Is that tightening it? Yeah. That feels pretty good right there. Okay, so now we're going to hit position four. It's going to bring us over here. So that feels fairly loose right there, but if I go Z up, it's going to make it too tight. So let's go ahead and take it right there, and we're going to hit OK, and we're just going to finish out the leveling using the, the nut right there. Now see, that's pretty tight. It's, it's not uh, loosening up because the spring is a very shallow spring. So let's just go ahead and do Z up. 
you hit OK. Oh, let's take it, take it back. Go to four. Let's see where we're at. Okay, so yeah, it did do the Z up. So we're going to hit OK. And let's just go ahead and see how that feels. Right about there. So let's go ahead and do it over one more time. So I'm going to hit five. And anytime you do any adjustment to your nozzle, you always want to do this. Okay, now five feels awful tight. Let's just go ahead, go over to one, and see where we're, where we're at with number one now. So number one's feeling a little bit tight. So instead of doing the adjustment through the software, let's just go ahead and tighten. Let me move that back there so you can see what I'm doing. Tighten that just a little bit. Usually you have to go around this about two times. Sometimes three times, but for the most part, two times will usually give you a pretty good leveling on it. So that feels pretty tight. Let's go ahead. Just until there's light drag. That's all it takes. So that's really light. So I forgot to move the camera for that other one. Sorry about that. Going the wrong way. Let's see. Righty tighty left Lucy. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And then we're going to hit number four. Feels pretty good, but let's just go ahead and just loosen it just a hair bit. Or tighten it, I mean, but to loosen the bed from the nozzle. So we're going to tighten it. There we go. I loosened it up just a little bit. And now we'll try the fifth position one last time. And it's snug. So let's just go ahead, take it down, take it back up. That feels pretty snug. But let's just go ahead and go with it. I don't want to go back through everything one more time, so. Yeah, that feels about right. So once we're done, we take and we hit the back arrow down here at the bottom. everything should be ready for it to go ahead and there we go should be ready for us to go ahead and print now what I'm going to do I'm going to print a benchy I've never printed a, printed a benchy before in my life so I'm going to go ahead and print a benchy let's see what it looks like so I'm going to set this up for a time lapse and I'll see you at the end of the time Okay guys, so that was 9 hours and 46 minutes. This was the first time I ever let the thing run overnight. <laughs> Let's see if it comes off the bed alright. 
Yeah, it's going to be a tight one. I shouldn't put as much glue down. Let me see if I can get my build tech spatula under it. There we go. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so let's take a close look at it here. Now, see, they got some little wisps inside there of filament. That has to do with cooling, I'm pretty sure. That and retraction. Now, this model here, this is the Benchy, of course, by my friend Daniel Noray. Um, but at the same time, this one was actually sliced by G Tech. This was on the memory card that came with the machine. So I want to slice it again uh, using a different software if I can, like Cura. But for the most part, that Benchy turned out pretty good, I think. Now this is the first Benchy ever printed. But right up here, let's see if I can catch it good enough here. It's a little bit of sagging, but not bad. Let's see. Looks like there's some kind of a name on the back there. It's a little bit blurred for me to, to read, unfortunately. And of course, at the bottom it says the CT3DXYZ. That's cool. Yeah, just a little bit of sagging right underneath the doorway there. The circular portion of it looks really nice. Uh, Get a better zoom on it here. There we go. Surface of it's got a little bit of a texture. Uh, the layer lines, I don't feel them as much. But for the black, you, you can see all kinds of defects with black. Like it, apparently this would be the infill right up in here. But there's also ringing too. So that I'll have to look into what causes all that kind of stuff and see if it's adjustments that can be made. But like I said, it's it's uh, for a first print off of that, where it took that many hours, I believe this was sliced at 0.1 layer height from what I saw on, on the machine, how it was going by steps. I believe it was going up by one, 0.1 millimeter at a time. But that's a pretty good, pretty good first real print <laughs> on the machine, other than that G-Tech logo. This uh, turned out all right. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I'll catch you in the next one. Hey, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, please subscribe. I sure appreciate it. You can do that by clicking on the link over here. Don't forget to ring the bell, too. That way you'll be notified when a video comes out. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, please click on my Patreon page over here. You can support the channel from there. If you'd like to check out one of my other videos, please give these a shot. I think you're going to love them. Oh yeah, you're going to like them. Have a great day and take care. Bye.